Okay, so the next two days we're going to work on division accuracy, long division. Um, and in fourth grade, they will only have a one digit um, divisor. You need to remember that the parts of division. Um, this is the dividend, this is the divisor, and we find that the quotient is our answer. So they can use a multiplication chart, and most of them do, to be able to successfully use this. So make sure that you have that out um, to help them with accuracy. So the first thing, if my divisor is 7, I'm going to go on my multiplication chart to my row of 7. I'm going to ask, okay, how many times will 7 go into 3? And I start going down. As soon as I go over 3, um, I've gone too far. So 7, as soon as I get to 7 times 1, I'm over. That's 7, so that's too big. So that means it will go into 0 times. And they use, does McDonald's serve cheese burgers repeat? Which stands for divide, multiply, subtract, compare, bring it down, and then repeat. This is their checklist. So if they don't remember the steps, have them write that. Does McDonald's serve cheeseburgers repeat? And have them go through it. So now I've divided. Now I'm going to multiply. And 0 times 7 is 0. So now I'm going to subtract. Bring it down. 3. So now I'm going to compare. Is 3 less than 7? Yes, as long as it's less, I'm doing good and I can keep going. So now I need to bring down my next number, which is 4. And I'm going to repeat the whole thing. So I'm going to go back up. I'm going to check all this off. I've done that the first time around. So I'm going to say, how many times will 7 go into 34? Using my multiplication chart, I'm going to go on 7 row until I get um, past 34. Oop, 35 is too big, so I'm going to go back to 28. And that means that 7 will go into 34 four times. So, I've divided. 7 goes in um, to 34 four times, so now I need to multiply. 7 um, 4 times 7 is 28. Now I need to subtract. Okay, so um, 14 minus 8 is 6, and 2 minus 2 is 0. I need to compare. Is 6 less than 7? Yes, it is, so I'm doing good. Now I need to bring down my next number. So now I have 66. So I go back to my row of 7. How many times will 7? I always say, how many times does go in? How many times does 7 go into 66? So I'm on my row of 7, and I go across 56, 63, 70. That's too big. So I'm going to go back. It goes in 63. So that means 9 times. So, sorry, I've divided. Now I need to multiply. 9 times 7, 63. Now I'm going to subtract. 60, um, 6 minus 63 is 3. Now I'm going to compare. 3 is less than 7. Yay me, I'm doing good. So now I'm going to bring down my next number. And I have 39. So how many times does 7 go into 39? Again, I'm on my row of 7. Go straight across 35, 42. That's too big, so I'm going to go back to the 35. 7 goes into 39 five times. So I've divided it. 5 times 7 for multiplying is 35. Subtracting it, that is 4. Compare, 4 is less than 7. I did great. Um, so now for my repeat, I don't have any more numbers. That means this is my remainder. So my quotient is 495 with a remainder of 4.